Oh, hey, didn't even see you there. I was too busy enjoying this beautiful day with my giant block of pure silver. Flex. <laughs> it's kind of the opposite of a subtle flex. So I got this giant block of silver when we made a Demolition Ranch video. In the Demolition Ranch video, we shot a giant block of gold and a giant block of silver. I kept the giant block of silver because it's awesome. And like, when do you see something like this? This is one... 1,027 ounces of pure silver. Normal silver coins are like one ounce, like the big ones. They're like this big, they're one ounce. This is a thousand of those. It's neat, it's a good investment. I mean, like it, it keeps your money right here. Like I know that this will still be worth something in 50 years from now. So I was like, yeah, I'll keep it, that's, that's good. Kind of diversify a little bit. Get some precious metals, you know? But then like every time I go into my safe, I look at all my beautiful tools in there, and I get to go out and enjoy them. And this thing is just down in the bottom of the safe, not bringing me any enjoyment. And I thought, what if I just like traded it for something cool? Like something neat, something different. I don't know what that is, but like, I was just gonna throw this out there. If anyone wants a giant block of silver, 999, that's pure silver, we have all of the prints on there that you need. I'm not sure what the 50 means or the one means. I think that's its serial code and that is 1,027 ounces. Pure silver. Okay, well, I keep saying pure silver. It's not, it's not exactly pure because uh, I did shoot it a little bit. So there may be a little bit of, uh, oh yeah, I shot it. I shot it quite a bit. There may be a little bit of uh, lead right there. That's definitely, that's definitely lead and copper, but overall, it's pure silver. It's a beautiful giant brick. And I, Demolitia, am offering it up for trade. I don't wanna sell it. I'm not interested in selling. I want something that's fun. I want something crazy. I like cars, I like trucks, I like weird things that are worth what a giant block of silver is worth. I posted this thing on my Instagram with the same kind of thing, I was like, I wanna trade this thing. I got a lot of interesting offers. A lot of like four by four trucks, a lot of diesel, like Ford F-250s that are lifted and stuff. And they're cool, but that, I just, I want something different. I want something crazy. I got like a lot of like C5 Corvette Z06 offers. Some of them like race cars, which that tempted me. I was, I was close, but it's like, I got an LS in an even better car, an El Cromino. I don't know, I just, I like it, I just don't, I don't know, I don't know what I want. But I know that someone out there has what I want. I just don't know what it is yet. And you know what it is, and you're gonna send me an email and be like, <laughs> I know what it is that you want. So, Demolitia, let me give you, <laughs> let me give you some stipulations so that I don't receive a bazillion emails. I'm just going to read you my Instagram post. It's a little aggressive, I took a page out of Whistle Diesel's book, but it's so I don't receive a million emails that are trash. I already got uh, probably like a thousand emails and most of them were good because of this. Uh, I didn't respond to many of them because I, I probably got a thousand emails just off my Instagram post. So I'm worried, about, I'm worried about this. So if I don't respond to you, it doesn't mean I don't love you. You know I love you, but th there's probably gonna be like 4,000 emails. So just don't email me if you don't have something. Please, please. Okay, here we go. Trades only. I'm not selling it. Not selling this thing. I don't want your cash. I mean, I want it, but like, I'm not trading this for cash. I want to trade for something awesome. What you got, Demolitia? I like cars, trucks, pew pews. You've seen my vids. You know what I like. Not for sale for cash. Don't message me unless it's something of equal value. I don't want your dumb Glock 17. I don't want your dumb 1995 Camaro. If you don't know what 1,027 ounces of silver is worth, don't email me what you want to trade. This thing makes quite the talking piece. Email me at demoranch at yahoo.com. Tell me what you got. Must be willing to come to Texas to do the trade. I'm not shipping this thing. And then uh, I'll link the video that it was in in the description below. And then I said, okay, I'm done being mean, just try to not get an insane amount of junk emails. That's how Whistling Diesel posts all his things, and it actually really helps to not get like, hey, I've got a, I've got a, a 1996 Camry that I would trade for that thing. Like, yeah, I'm sure you would. Come on, bro, like it's a giant block of huge thing of silver. Give me a Z06, like a brand new one or something. I'm just kidding, that'd be cool. If anyone has a C7 Z06, and you really want to do a really bad trade for you, 
I'm in. I just thought of what I want. I want a second gen Viper. Th those are about the same price as this thing. I would for sure trade, you know what's gonna go down in value? Your second gen Viper. You know what won't? This. This thing in 50 years will still be worth a lot. Okay, in 50 years your, your Viper will probably be worth a lot too. But you'd have to work on it. It's gonna take a lot of work. This thing, you throw it in your safe. You don't have to look at it 50 years. Preserve your wealth. Your Viper, probably gonna break down. I'll take it off your hand. Give me a second gen Viper GTS. I'm in, buddy. We can work together. You have to come to Texas though, because I, I ain't shipping this thing. Oh, we should do an epic montage to make it more desirable. If you're interested, email me about your Viper that you want to trade for this. Oh my, this is heavy. Like really, really yet. Okay, I'm gonna go put it in the safe. Hi, I'm out of breath just from carrying that thing. It is a really cool thing. Like it's a neat talking piece. No one has one of those. Dave Sparks texted me. He's trying to figure out something he can trade for it. Cletus texted me. He's trying to figure out something he can trade for it. Roman texted me. He said he wanted to buy it. I told him no. I don't want your cash. I want something fun, man. So we got we got people wanting it, but demolition it needs to go to one of you. Unless Cletus has something awesome. Or unless like Heavy D, Dave Sparks wants to trade me for that like 4x4 four four El Camino. I'm in bro, I'm totally in. Hello ladies. Yup, yup. I'm trying to get rid of the silver bar. Y'all want it? Y'all have anything to trade? What do you got? You haven't, no? Viper? No, no vipers, okay. Look at this, it's too easy. I have all the chicken stuff figured out. That's why I don't ever talk about chickens anymore because they just kind of do their own thing here. We have that thing, which you have to fill up like once a week, and then they just pick at it. And then we have watering system. Don't run out the open gate, you dumb chicken. Then we have a watering system that they just hit these things. And I haven't filled it up ever because it collects rain and goes in there. I'm a genius. I made the chickens just, it just runs by itself. I still don't like chickens, so I've decided I don't have to take them with us. Like if, if when we go to the big house, when we move to the abandoned mansion, we leave this place, if the new owners who buy this place want chickens, I'm not attached. Nope, not attached at all. I mean, this is nice, like getting all these eggs. Oh, apparently my kids have not been collecting eggs recently. They're supposed to come out here and do this. But like, it's nice to have fresh eggs all the time. They're just dumb. Like dogs love you. Cats, but cats can love. They don't always, dogs always love you. Chickens just suck. Yeah, there's, there's a good chance if we find someone else moving in who wants those things, we're just gonna leave all that. As much work as I put into that, I like put a, t I, you guys have seen it in the videos. I've even done more off camera that you haven't ever seen. But like all we do is get eggs. But you can buy eggs for like 10 cents a piece at the store. So it's not like, yeah, prop. I'm voting not taking chickens. Not sure about marrying the kids. They'll, I don't think they're gonna wanna keep me there. We'll see. I need to go out to the property though. You guys wanna come? Oh, I also did wanna tell you guys, you're awesome and thank you uh, for subscribing to Muscle Ride Shop. So those guys had a new channel and I pushed it and I told you that I was hoping I could get 20,000 of you to subscribe to their channel in one day. They started at 1,200 and it is the next day and they're currently at 75,000 subscribers. 75,000! Y'all are insane, the demolition is insane. You know what's also insane is, trying to figure out how long it took me to get 75,000 subscribers, it was probably like three years of making YouTube videos. And you guys just blew up their channel and they got to it in one, it's not fair. Go unsubscribe guys, that's just not fair. They need to go through their three years just like everybody else did. No, he's a lot better at YouTube than when I started. I was, I was awkward and weird. Like more awkward and weird than I am right now. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Probably the best place on the entire, oh, you can't see. There's a little bit of a mess over there because we filmed a video yesterday that you haven't seen yet. This is gonna go up before that. So no more looking at the range over there. Shut your eyes. Okay, open them. Watch this. Ready for this first pull start? It's crazy. Every time, every time. It's a good little bike. Turn that choke down a little bit since it's not actually cold out here. Like, 
so good. We're out here at Demolition Ranch because I need to find a place to put a barn. Like, I need like a storage barn. Up by the house, I'm gonna have like a nice barn where we'll have like a shop and all the tools and everything. What I need is like a big metal building with, you know, that I can put big things in, like a skid steer or like a tractor. Like the cars that we use for Demolition Ranch. Like my El Cromino, like, and probably the five ton, honestly, because I won't have the big shop built for a while. Ugh. So I need something smaller. This is hard to drive through all this stuff. So I need something that can be built quicker. Like, I don't even need electricity in it. I don't need lights. I just need to keep rain off the stuff. That's it. I need to make a better road back in here. Something I can drive it side by side down. All right, I'm just gonna come to see what's back here. It's just all undeveloped. Like nothing's ever been back here. Not even like trails or anything. But it's not flat enough for a barn. I mean, you could flatten it out, but it, this is not the right spot for a barn. I don't know which way I came. Help! Help, Mayor! I'm lost on my own property. Where's the range? We never come over here. I'm lost. This, this looks this is right-ish. Oh god. Ugh. I don't remember doing that. Oh gosh. Don't worry. I found it. Okay. Let's go check a different spot. The great part about this land is it's really hilly and beautiful. Like just so pretty. The bad part is nothing's flat and you need flat stuff to build buildings. I can't build it down there because as you can imagine, that's the pond and when it rains, that fills up with water. The other minor problem is there's trees everywhere. There's, there's hardly any like pasture land on this property. We have some like very basic roads through the property. That's it, that's all the development there is. And like I can't get Earl up here. Like it's, it's made for like a side by side or a little motorcycle. Not made for a big three quarter ton dodge. There's some little areas like this that are flat, but it's not big enough for like a big, big barn. And then a lot of land, I mean, this is all mine. It just goes like 50 feet down there. That's actually where the cave is over there. Not good for a barn either. I think, I think it just gets steeper the higher I go. This tree is one reason why we can't get a full-size truck up there. You can see we got a couple like green X's on it. That's because that one needs to come out. So that ideally I can just drive a truck on this little road. This, this road is just a side-by-side -side and dirt bike road right now. Pretty obvious the truck would not fit through this road. Tiny. This is not a real road. Just a little clearing for a side-by-side -side to get through. But it's pretty flat here. The problem is I've never really seen any of this land because it all looks like that. Really hard to walk through. So like that's an option for putting a barn. I just need to go spend a lot more time walking through. And this is sort of far from the range. And I'm thinking like it'd be nice to not only keep like a skid steer and a tractor and stuff like that in that little barn. It'd be nice to keep like our fire truck. Like, I need to get a fire truck. I don't have one now, but I need a fire truck for some of the stuff we do. It'd be nice if that was next to the range. There's one spot. I'll go check that out. Cause this is far. And it'd be bad for like, oh no, we got a fire. Fire truck will be here in 15 minutes. Cause we gotta go get it. Or if we were like, man, is this dangerous? Nah, probably not. I don't want to go get the fire truck. It'd be nice if it was just like right next to us. And we were just like, yeah, let's let's always have it. Safety first, you know? I'm I'm a safe guy now that I'm older and have three kids and don't want to burn down the ranch. Leave the hog right there. Right there. So this is close to the range. You can see the roof of the HQ gleaming over there. And this is pretty flat right here. Not bad at all. Need to take out some trees. Most of these are little bitty trash trees. There's one big tree, but that's a black walnut. Once they get about that big, they start dying and falling over anyway. So that would not be a large loss. No big oaks or anything right here. This could be perfect. So I think right here is my best option. And basically what I want to do with this is build a barn cheaply and fast. Because if we get the abandoned mansion ready to move in and we put our house on the market that we live in currently and it sells really fast, We'll have to move in without a barn. So all of the stuff that I keep in my barn 
motorcycles, the five ton. The El Cromino is gonna eventually end up in the barn. Right now there's also an AMC Rebel with a mid-engine in the barn. All that stuff will have nowhere to go. And I wanna build a nice big barn someday, like insulated and like beautiful with electricity and things. But for now, just like, I need something to keep stuff out of the weather. I'm thinking, let me just tell you what I'm thinking on dimensions. That's my current barn. It is 2,600 square feet. And that is the closed part, and then there's a little like roofed area that's open to the outdoors next to it. So here's my new barn ideas. I thought about doing this, since this is like an overflow barn, kind of like a temporary barn just to get me through, I thought maybe I'll just make it small. And so I was thinking something like that, 2,200 square feet and that much is closed. So that's 40 feet by 35 feet is closed and then we have 25 feet by 35 feet is open with a cover over the top but all open walls. I also made another plan of 3,600 square feet which is a 90 foot by 40 foot slab and 60 by 40 is closed in barn. I just walked this off to see how that 3,600 foot one would fit and it would fit super good here. I was worried it'd be too big and like wouldn't work, but it totally will work. And I think I'm gonna go for that. I think bigger is better on a barn. That Demo HQ, a lot of you guys are like, why are you building such a small building? I built it that small because we didn't really need it to be big, but now I definitely regret making it so small and wish I would have made it a, a little bigger, or maybe double the size, I don't know. I don't need it to be any bigger, it's fine. It does everything great, but. You hear that? It's Demolitia. Demolitia, one of the neighboring properties. My man. AR or what, AK? Can't tell. Sorry, what were we talking about? Um, barn. I think I want to build the big one. What are your... AR, yeah. What are your opinions on that? On that size, on that amount of inside versus outside space? What am I forgetting? And also, I, I still haven't decided if I'm gonna do like dirt floors. It probably wouldn't be dirt, it'd be like gravel floors or if I would like go ahead and make a slab and make it nice. I can always come back and put a slab later, but it's probably just better to get it all done at once. I don't plan on having, there's no electricity down here, as you guys know by the solar panels on that roof. So I don't really plan on having electricity. I don't think I need it. It's gonna be a storage barn. I don't plan on insulation because I don't think I need it. Anyway, this is the first like actual barn I've ever built. So let me know what you guys think. What should I have, what should I not have? in my storage barn that's made for tractors and muscle cars and five tons that are giant. Kind of a weird episode, I know. It's just like, it's a dreaming, a scheming, a planning episode and I, I really do need y'all's help on it. <sighs> Get off of me. Not only with uh, figuring out something I can trade a silver bar for, let me know. I know someone has something fun, but also helping me build this barn, oh! Anybody build barns? You wanna come build a barn for a silver bar? <laughs> ow, ow. I tripped on something and then I caught myself and tripped on something else. <laughs> that was a good way to end the video. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Off The Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Whoa. Oh. Hey, what camera is that, number? Shut up. <laughs> Don't tell Mare.